So as I fight my way through the battles of this world, my eyes aren't normally fixed on Jesus. I do look his direction more than I used to, but far more often my eyes are fixed on the crisis before me. In the third of the Hobbit trilogy of films, The Battle of the Five Armies, the dwarves and Bilbo have in fact awakened the dragon Smaug from his slumbers. The beast is enraged that anyone would dare challenge his stolen kingdom. Right? While the hamlet rages and the rest of the townsfolk flee, Bard climbs to the top of the bell tower and begins to fire arrows as the murderous beast passes by. But the armor of Smaug is impenetrable, like tenfold shields, save only by a black arrow from the elder days. And then as the plot goes on, his son knows where that arrow is. And he goes and he gets it and he brings it to his dad in the bell tower. And suddenly now Bard's up there, but he's got his younger son with him. And his son turns and sees the dragon coming and his fear just sweeps over him. And then there's this beautiful scene, this beautiful moment where the father says to him, Bane, look at me. You look at me. And Bane turns from all the destruction and chaos around him and looks at his father's loving, reassuring face. It's just human nature to look at the chaos, the mayhem, the pain. And when you're in a situation where death is real and you're wondering, what happens? What happens? Like Christianity steps in with its A game and goes, I have some incredible news for you. You can live forever. Like you actually don't die. Your physical body may give up functioning, but you as a human being go on forever. And that's the A-game. That's the big promise. And like Easter is about something phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Death has been completely conquered. You will not perish. You will live forever in the kingdom of God. And all of the goodness and all of the beauty and all the things that you long for, all of that's coming. All of that's yours. The anchor of the soul is Easter. And the anchor of the soul is that death is totally and completely defeated. And that the kingdom of God is and will completely prevail. It will completely prevail. And Jesus calls it the restoration of all things. He says, at the restoration of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me. And then he just goes on to name the losses that you've suffered and that you've lost homes or families or fields, you know, kind of meaning careers or, you know, your finances. He just names all the losses. He says, oh, you'll receive a hundred times that. Mm. And the gift of a life that can never, ever be taken away from you. 